Today we're getting started with data analysis, or I'm going to explain how to get started with data analysis. So you've got your data organized. Now you need to start analyzing it. And when I say analyzing, I mean start looking for patterns and anomalies. Start trying to identify what things impact other things. What happens when I spend more here and less here? There are lots of ways to go about this, but a good way to start is by creating some simple charts that are easy to interpret. I've also put all this info into a PDF with visual examples and explanations that you can download to refer back to or share with your colleagues so they can get started. Alrighty, let's walk you through three simple charts to get you started with data analysis. The idea here is that these simple analyses highlight areas for you to take a deeper look into, which is that next step where you try and diagnose, to try and find the why. That way you can learn from it and feed those learnings into your marketing. Okay, first we've got a time series analysis. This essentially means looking how something has developed over a selected period of time. The way we would do this on a chart is to take our time frame, like week, day, or month on the x-axis, and another metric on the y-axis, like CPCs or CPA. This type of analysis then highlights things like what happens to key metrics over time, or how have conversions developed over time in relation to spend or budget. Secondly, we've got a correlation analysis. What we're doing here is trying to identify if two things or data points have a relationship with each other. For example, if one thing goes up, does the other thing go down? The way we do this is to take a weekly, daily, or monthly measurement of two key metrics and plot one metric on the x-axis, like conversions, and a second metric, let's say impressions, on the y-axis. This allows you to identify if there's a link or relationship between two things. For example, I see when impressions increase, conversions seem to increase too. The next step would be to explore if the relationship is meaningful or shows causality, or if it's just a coincidence. Lastly, we have a comparison analysis. With this one, we're looking to compare one thing to another, like campaign A to campaign B. So what you need to do is plot the dimension you want to compare on one axis, like campaigns, and the metric you want to compare them against on the other axis, let's say revenue. This allows you to look at two or more different things and see how they compare. For instance, which campaign generated most revenue across all platforms? If you take this one step further, rather than looking at this retroactively in a post-analysis environment, you can look at this in real time and try to optimize your spend based on how performance is shaping up, so you can act in good time and affect the outcome. It's less of a set it, forget it, and have a retro when it's done, and more of a check in on it using your nice automated charts and try to positively affect the outcome. As I said earlier, I've put all this information, including example charts and visualizations, into a little cheat sheet for you. So feel free to download that and you can refer back to it or share it with your team. That's it for this week's funnel tip. 